Hi, I'm Kim Coates Carlisle, the course director for Makeup for Motion Pictures. And I'm Carol Lee, I'm a lab instructor. And we are in the Full Sail Makeup Lab, and we're going to do a ball cap demonstration. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to clean the skin really well because we're going to be gluing on the bald cap and we want it to stick. We're also going to cover him up with a cape in case we drop something on him. Some of the materials we are going to be using today will not come out of clothing. So we're even going to go behind the neck and clean this whole area back here so we can get a really nice tight seal with our glue. Now what would happen next is if Chris had long hair, you would have to sort of um, tuck it up under the bald cap and keep it nice and secure. You can't use any sharp objects to put under the bald cap like bobby pins, so we would use products like gel or hairspray just to keep the hair down and back. Um, an important thing to know about that is you need to, um, this all needs to be dry before we put the ball cap on. So if you use water or gel, make sure this is all dry before we put on the ball cap. So the next step would be to fit him with the ball cap. There is a front and a back. And what we need to do is to make sure that it's going to cover up his entire hairline. Now before we started today, we took a little shaver and um, shaved the back of Chris's neck so we got rid of all those little baby hairs. The glue that we're gonna be using called Prosate does not stick in hair. So we need to make sure that all that little hair is out of the way. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this a little bit in the front here so I can get it off his eyebrow. That's a little low. Now curved edges are better than straight edges. They blend easier. And you don't get as much of a hard line. You wanna be careful when you're cutting this, not just so that you don't cut your tail it, but you could rip the ball cap if you put too much tension on it as you're cutting it. All right, so the next thing to do is to start gluing. Now we're gonna start from temple to temple with our glue, and then we're going to dry it. Can you see this? This is Prosade. This is what we're gonna to use to glue on the ball cap. And the remover of that is Detach-All. All right, so you wanna shake this up. Thanks, Harold. And use a Q-tip. If you use your brushes, it will ruin them forever. Okay. So we're just going to peel this up a little bit and lay down our glue. Ow. <laughs> now you want to lay down about a half an inch strip. As this product goes on, it is white, but once we dry it, it will be clear. And so we have to blow it dry before we can lay down the ball cap. So when you're blowing with the blow dryer, be sure to aim down so you'll blow the air under the ball cap and blow it off. It's really important that this is dry before we put the cap down, otherwise it won't ever completely dry. Okay, so as you're laying down your cap, you have to be really careful and don't wrinkle your forehead. Because awesome. once it makes contact, it's pretty well stuck. You're gonna go right to the nape of the neck. And see how nice and clean that is there. We won't have any problems with the glue sticking. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. oh, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, so again, we're gonna glue down, put our glue down another half an inch, an inch strip. And we're gonna go all the way around to the corner of the hairline. And up. As you glue the back down, what you want you what you want to do is have the tail and lean his head back a little bit. That'll put um, make the ball cap a little bit tighter, so that when he does lean his head back later, it won't be all wrinkly like a sharpe. So you want to grab this whole unit, stretch it down, and then pull it forward, all in one motion. And stick it in the glue. Now at this point, I'm gonna give it a little cut over here just to relieve some tension. And we're gonna save these little pieces in case you have a little split or a tear later, we can use them for repair. Okay, once you get the front and the glue, the back glued, what you wanna do is finish up with the sides. This is the actually the hardest part because it can rip really easily here. So I'm just using a little white pencil to make an outline um, about an inch below his actual ear. Now when you make your cuts, be careful you don't go too far out this way in case you need it to use it to cover up the sideburn. ear out. <laughs> <laughs> At least it would show up on camera. <laughs> okay. All right, so now what we need to do is finish this off. And I need to cut a little bit more here because I have a tiny wrinkle. So I'm just going to go back in and cut a little bit more. Okay, so I need to finish this up behind the ear, and then we're going to go around to the front. Okay, so we're finishing up gluing on the bald cap. And it's really important to get around the hair because the prosade will not stick to the hair. So you won't get a nice tight seal. So go all the way around the hairline, right up to where we left off gluing. Try to keep your blow dryer on a cool setting so you don't burn the person. And so what we have to do last is the trimming. And then we can go around the edges and blend them all into the skin. So there's a couple of ways to do this, blending our edges into the skin. We can use Prosade, or we can use Latex, or we can use Duo. So right now I'm going to use a little Prosade. 
And if you can get a little bit of prosade up and under the edge of the ball cap, then you can flip that edge over and it'll be completely sealed straight, nice and straight. Okay, now the next step of the ball cap is to take latex, which we have here in a little cup, and use an upholstery sponge to cover the whole entire ball cap. And we're going to do this in sort of a dabbling, dabbing, or stippling motion. Now you do want to bring the latex out onto the skin over the past the ball cap, but you don't want to do too much of the skin with the latex. Now you're probably not going to have an assistant to do a ball cap. If you do, great, you're lucky, but if not, I would plan to take at least an hour and a half to do this by yourself. You don't want to rush any steps. That looks great. Okay, so now when you're finished with this, you need to blow dry it again. And like Prosade, it goes on white, and once it's clear, that means it's dry and it's ready. The next very important step, thanks girl, is to now we have to powder over this latex. Latex loves to stick to latex, so we want to get this powdered as quick, quickly as we can so we don't have anything sticking to itself that's not supposed to. And go ahead and be generous with the powder. Okay, fabulous. Okay, now the next step after we powder the latex is to use rubber mask grease paint. Rubber mask grease paint can come in all different colors. Um, natural colors, skin tone colors, and primary colors. So any color you need you can get with rubber mask grease paint. Now you don't have as much of a variety of colors as you do with your regular foundation. So just get as close as you can to the color that you're going to need. And this is going to take a while. <laughs> Rubber mask grease paint is really thick. It's castor oil based and you really have to smush hard into the makeup to get it to come out. And then you're going to also put that on in a stippling motion, a dabbing motion. How's that feel? Feels like a big pipe. <laughs> <laughs> um, also we are using the upholstery sponges for this process as well. They work much better than your regular cosmetic wedges do. They hold the makeup a lot better. Now you can bring this makeup onto the skin a little bit, but uh, rubber mask grease paint is not uh, makeup made for skin. It's made to go over prosthetic pieces and ball caps. This rubber mask grease paint is going to assure us that our color will hold on the ball cap and also some cream based makeups can deteriorate a ball cap so this rubber mask grease paint also is for protection of the ball cap. Okay great. So we're finishing up with our rubber mask grease paint and as soon as we're finished here what we're going to do is we're going to do one more layer of powder all over this entire ball cap. Now 
you want to be really careful with these ball caps. You want to use a ball cap that's nice and thin because it will look a lot better. Um, and then at the same time, it's going to be a lot more easier to rip. So they're very delicate, but they will come out looking beautiful. And the main, the main thing you want to be careful of is when you're cutting around the ears. That's usually when we get our rips happening. Okay, so what do we do? Bald cap. We glued on the bald cap. Then we put on a layer of latex. Then we powdered it. Then we put on the rubber mask grease paint. And we powdered it again. So what we're ready to do now is to use our regular cream-based foundations. We're going to put it all over the face and then bring it up onto the bald cap. Now we're back to our cosmetic sponges. And we're not going to wet the sponge because we want this makeup to be the, almost the same consistency as the rubber mask grease. Yeah, we're going to do a, a fairly heavy layer of makeup right now. I'm going to make sure too that you get this neck area. And then just blend this makeup down until it Really <laughs> now when we apply the cream based makeup, we also have to put it on in a dabbing motion. Foundations, guess what? We're going to powder it again. Touch your head and relax. There we go. And you can think of this as like a little massage. don't match then the ears will stick out remember we're trying to create illusion here now that's that's basically it for the ball cap if you want to get fancy you can add a little stippling to it to create a little five o'clock shadow When you bring that up onto the cap, it will help to create a little illusion there that it all goes together. 